What's going on here? What's going on? Oh, the basement robbed. The watchman killed. What's going to happen next? Where's the marshal? Anybody seen him? The marshal's riding guard on my stage. Well, you've got a lot of nerve letting him leave us unprotected. You're not the only one who pays taxes for protection. Uh, just how much did you lose, Lee? Plenty. I lost eleven dollars. Well, well, it was enough. You're crying pretty loud for eleven dollars. There you are. I think you owe Miss Rand an apology. Yes, well, I'm sorry. I reckon I lost my head. The reason the marshal is riding the stage is because it was held up twice this month. Then it was you who advised her to send the marshal along with the stage. Certainly. Oh, I see. Bill, please. Wait, what happened? We was held up. They got the marshal, winged me, and then wrecked the stage. Well, where is the marshal? Two miles the other side of the butte. I'll send someone out for him. Thanks, Bill. Tom, you better go get that wrist and stuff. All right, come on, folks. Let's break it up. I'm sorry, Miss Ray. Something's got to be done. Cattle stolen, miners robbed, the bank held up, and now the state marshal murdered. We'll have to deal with this situation ourselves. How? Organize the townspeople into vigilantes. Vigilantes? It's either that or ruin for all of us. My dad fought to build Rawhide, and I'll fight to keep it. I know. Let's call a meeting of the townspeople tomorrow and let them decide. Maybe you're right. Great work, Tom. I wish you'd tell your gunman to shoot to miss me hereafter. Well, that's only a scratch. Fine, but then still I got clipped. Well, accidents will happen. Sure, but I don't want to be on the receiving end of them. Vigilante meeting call for tomorrow. What? Now, don't get excited. The town's right for vigilantes. So, I suggest them, organize them, and help run them. Why, at a word from me, we can empty this town and have them out looking in the wrong places while we're working elsewhere. That's an idea. Yes, yeah. the best I ever heard. Good. Well, now, let's see what we got here. Now, let's see. We'll... One, two, three, four. There you are, boys. The money from both jobs, evenly divided. That's the usual 20%. I want to talk to you about that, Bates. Who's getting that 20%? That's my business. You're getting your cut. Well, whoever it is, he never does nothing to earn a cut that big. Who do you think gives me my information? Tips me off when to hit and when to lay low. I'll go on and get to work. Even our lives are in danger at the hands of these cutthroats. But this vigilante thing is wrong. It's unlawful. I'm going to have to do something about Willis. He's in the way. Look what the government did in Pecos. Sent a hard-fisted lawman in there and cleaned up the town pronto. Why don't they send him here, then? Rawhide's worse than Pecos ever was. What's his name? Silent Tim Smith is his name. And as chairman of this law enforcement body, I've written to Washington asking that he be transferred here. Silent Tim Smith? Say, he's a great lawman. Now, whether it's wrong taking the law into our own hands or not, this is an emergency. I therefore nominate Mr. Bates to organize a body of vigilantes to protect Rawhide until Silent Smith gets here. Oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Ever see this Silent Tim Smith? No, but I heard of him. I hope they don't save him here. They say he's plenty smart. He can't be a lawman and be smart.
You're getting out today, Higgins. You're telling me. Get that door open. What's the matter? You got a bank job waiting? No, sir. Not for Lefty Higgins. I'm getting as far away from this district as my legs will carry me. Come on, Murph. Ain't eating free no more either. Why, if it ain't silent Tim Smith himself. Higgins, you know, locking you up and turning you loose again is getting so monotonous that, well, the next time I get you in, I'm going to throw the key away. There ain't going to be no next sign for me. That's what you did in Montana. Yeah, I said it in Kansas and Arizona and California. But this time, doggone it, I mean it. Well, I hope you do. Still, I, I can't help remembering that gunfight we had in Waco. Say, we've had some great times together, ain't we? Remember that time I almost got you in Lordsburg? Yes, and do you remember the time I pulled you off the train just as you were going over the border? And I almost got you in Del Rio, too. <laughs> you almost got me. Why, you wasn't nowhere near when I pulled that Del Rio bank job. You was in New Mexico. I got out of Del Rio leaving them Babs Tudors flat crooked. Thanks, Higgins. That's all the man from Del Rio wanted to hear. Why, you double cross. All right, Joe. There's your man. Hey, my arms. Let me loose. Get these off of me. Oh, my arms. Get me loose. Handcuffs? Where in the world did those come from? Is this some of your handiwork? Pretty good, ain't they? Them are the new handcuffs I invented. Give me the key. Yeah, the key. Oh, how did I ever forget that? You mean you have the key? Uh, no. Murph, you can go. I've got nothing further on you. But Higgins, you're headed for a hang rope. They ain't made the rope that can hang me. It's all yours, Joe. Shucks, I was going to have Joe sell my handcuffs to the state of Texas. If I had just thought about the key, I'd have been a rich man. How in the world did you ever make those? Well, I took two good strong tomatoes. Oh, cans. that's enough. Uh, don't you want to hear it? It's a great idea, Noisy. But just get yourself a key made before you try to use them again. Yeah, well, I uh, should have made a key before I made these, I guess. Uh. They're coming through the pass with Higgins. This is our chance to free him. Listen, Murph, I'm broke, and I've got to be where I can make some money. You ever hear of a fellow named Jim Bates? No. He's running things in Rawhide. I can set you in, and you'll do right well, too. Sounds good. I'll write him you're coming. Higgins is a first-rate man with shooting iron. He should be up at Rawhide in a few days. Your friend, Murph. Any of you ever see or hear of this Higgins? No, I don't know him. I knew I left a Higgins when I was a kid in Kansas. Well, I hope he's as good as the other two men Murph sent me. We'll need him. Here's a special delivery that just come for you. Hmm, listen to this. 
have been investigating the situation at Rawhide and suggest you handle assignment yourself. When you arrive there, consult Miss Ruth Rand, assigned by Chief Crane. Well, Noisy, that means I'm going to be leaving town for a few days. Well, I'm going with you, ain't I? Don't you think it would be better if you stayed here and tried to make a key for those handcuffs? Oh, now, I'm glad you brought that up. Look, I've got it all figured out. Give me your hand, I'll show you. Oh, not my hand. Well, now, look, all you got to do, you see that little hole right there? You can take a piece of steel and file it straight so that the point will turn the... the... Oh. be shipping your cattle any day now. The way you've got them vigilantes stepping to your tune, it'll be easy to grab them. And making a lieutenant out of that loud mouth Lee wasn't so bad. You'll be a lot of help to us. <laughs> Tim Smith's heading for Rawhide. Indian Joe down the river told me. He must be kept out of here. Who will have him? I will. But you don't know what he looks like. The Indian says he's riding a Palomino. Good. Come on. hit rawhide just the other side of that ridge and some ham and eggs i hope they so don't you think of anything besides something to eat well it's been oh, a while. just pretend your throat's cut come on Gotta come around that bend in the trail. There he is. The Indian was right. He's riding a Palomino. That shot came from the other side of that arroyo. I wonder who they can be. One of right, a Palomino, too. Wait a minute. That guy may be Lefty Higgins. You better get down there and take a look. Cactus Holmes, the fellow that you sent to the pen about six years ago. I wonder what he's doing up here. Why don't we look him over anyway? Listen to this. The pickings are pretty good in Rawhide. Why don't you move in and help clean up? See a man named Bates. <laughs> Looks as though every outlaw in the country knows about Rawhide. A couple of fellas behind you got us covered. Play dumb. 
Mr. Webb, I reckon there's nothing we can do for him. No, not now. Reach, you two. Get over there. What's going on here? Looks as though somebody dry goes to Marshall. The Marshall, all right. Why, he's... He's dead as a mackerel. Who are you, fellas? That to you. Came toward Rawhide, heard a shot, and came over and found this fellow here. Now, have you any objections to our lowering our hands? No, but don't make any false moves. Thanks. Looking for anybody in particular in Rawhide? Yeah, a fellow named Bates. Do you know him? Sure. Does he know you? No. Is he expecting you? I wouldn't be surprised. I know he's waiting for a guy. You know who he is? I uh, know his name, but don't know what he looks like. Well, you know what he looks like now. Your name Higgins? That's right. Who's he? Well, I... Well, this my... is Cactus Holmes. Well, he and I have been trailing together for years. Now, tell me this fellow Bates is a pretty smart fellow, kind of a go-getter. I'll say he is. Better get rid of this marshal, hadn't we? Not a bad idea. But just a minute. Got an idea. You know, this piece of tin's lively to me. You're a smart guy. I'd never thought of that. You wouldn't. Come on, let's get him out of here. Though you hate law, men, I think you do all right. Just quieten the law as fast as it shows up. Just as simple as that, eh? Well, what about my cut? The same as the rest of us. After I deduct 20%. 20 percent. 20 percent? That's right. For the big boss. Who's he? No one knows him but me. And it stays that way. Understand? It's all right with me. You can count us in. Not only got rid of Smith, what are you going to tell the town? If he don't show up, they're going to send for another marshal. Hmm. I'll have to do something about that right away. Well, does uh, this suggest anything to you? It ain't a pinch, Bates. That's Smith's badge. might suggest something of that. Higgins, did you know this silent Tim Smith? Know him? <laughs> that bloodhound was closer to me than my own shadow. <laughs> What's funny about that? It ain't funny. <laughs> I'm going to show you a sample of the brains we use in this outfit. I'm going to palm you off as Smith, the new marshal. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty smooth. I don't know who your top man is, but you don't need one. Forget the top man. Forget that you're Higgins. From now on, you're Silent Tim Smith, the Marshal of Rawhide. Now, just a minute. I haven't said I'd take the job yet. You're doing what I say. Remember that, and we'll get along fine. Yeah, but I'm looking out for Lefty Higgins. And if I take this job, I know what a spot I'll be in. Well, we'll protect you. I don't want protection. I can take care of myself. Well, what's bothering you, then? If I'm to be the marshal, I've got to know every move you fellas make before you make it. Then there can be no slip-up. Well, I don't see anything wrong with that. As long as you don't forget that I give the orders. That's the deal. So Cactus and I will slip out and look things over. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Listen, Bates. It's been years since I've seen Lefty Higgins, but... I don't know. You don't know what? Well, I was remembering him as being short and heavy set, but... There you go again worrying. Next thing you tell me that he's really Tim Smith. <laughs> How come they was expecting Higgins? Well, the only way I can figure it is that Murph probably wrote to these fellas, told them Higgins was going to be released. He'd probably drift this way, so he'll be on the lookout for him. Ain't you got enough on that mob to crack down on them? Oh, I suppose I have, but... There's some citizen in this town with a lot of influence that needs a little investigating. How about Ruth Rand? You're supposed to get in touch with her, you know. Oh, well, I'll take care of that. Come on. Hey, 
There's a good piece of money for us. Like having them in the bank when we're ready to take them. Where do you run them out? Through Eagle Pass, over the mountain. Maybe I could be some help to you. I got a good buyer across the border, Landers. Know him? No, I don't know him, but I've heard of him. I suppose his price would be as good as anybody's. Well, there's the Rand place over there. We'll ride over. I'd like her to meet the new marshal. Why not? our new marshal out to meet you, Silent Smith, Miss Rand. How do you do, Mr. Smith? How do? It was I that asked Washington to assign you to Rawhide. Well, I hope I don't disappoint you, Miss Rand. You have quite a job ahead of you, Marshal. Rawhide's almost on its last legs. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We're about ready to go out of business. Oh, I think things will kind of adjust themselves. It may take a little time, but eventually we'll get things straightened out. Well, it can't happen too fast for me. Miss Rand, uh, you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. I'll be only too glad to tell you what I know. Won't you come in? Thank you. Ooh. That herd will make a good haul for us. Howdy, men. Howdy. Seems funny seeing bartenders away out here. Anything I can do for you? Just let them spread over. Nice outfit. Getting smaller, though. So be sure you're just looking. What do you mean? Ask your boss, Bates. He knows everything. Not here. There's a time and place for everything. He'll be taken care of. Chief Rand didn't tell you to report to anyone in particular. Uh, no, he didn't. I, oh, I suppose it was just an oversight. I'm sorry to leave such pleasant company, but I have some business to attend to. Good day. Any arrangements you make with Miss Rand, you can count me in. Thanks for the information you've given me, Miss Rand. I, I think it'll be quite a help. I hope so. Hello, Bill. This is Marshal Smith, Bill Willis, the foreman. Oh, yeah. It's about time we got some action. You seem angry. Anything wrong? Oh, we're 200 heads short on the south range. I ran into Bates men on the West Range. They were admiring our stock. Of course, they had nothing to do with the stealing. Oh, I don't mind him. He's just upset and doesn't know what he's saying. He's doing all right. Keep firing away, Bill. Well, I, I guess Ruth is right. I may call on you for some help one of these days. Any time, Marshal. Fine. Well, I'll see you later. Right. Goodbye, Miss Ryan. Goodbye, Marshal. I don't care what you all say. This guy Higgins has got me worried. And you're worrying me. Forget it. Well, they call him Lefty, don't they? Yeah. Well, did you ever notice whether he uses his left hand? I never noticed. No, me neither. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, try him out sometime. I will. Hello. Looks like a town meeting. Uh, we've been waiting for you. Well, here I am. Anything stirring yet? The Rand outfit will ship that gold any time I say. We've got to watch out for that foreman of hers. I was coming to that. 
He's got to be taken care of. And right now? Yes, but in my way. You know, the law is always right. Smoke? No, thanks. This is our agreement, Higgins. Sign it. Well, I never believe much in written agreements, but... It'll make you fellas happy, why... All right. Well, now, if that's taken care of, let's get down to business. That suits me. Can you find out when the Desert Mine Company is going to ship their stuff? I'm ahead of it. The company's turning the shipment over to Miss Ram today. Then I'll see it gets out in the morning. We'll be ready. Now, just one other thing. To be sure of that little agreement of ours. I want to meet the head man of this outfit. I'll have the boss with us on this job. Go ahead and set your plans. All right. All right, boys. Come on. Another thing, this fellow Willis, what about him? We're going to make a present of him to the law for this deal. You know, the marshal's got to show some action. He's running things to suit himself, taking the plate right out of your hands. You've heard about the calf that took too much rope, haven't you? I still can't warm up to him. He's shooting for something big. Keep an eye on him. All right. Hey. Would you mind telling me what this is all about? No. See, it's a long story. There was a girl called Goldilocks, and there were three bears. And there was the mama oh, bear and the... Oh, good night. You said the town wanted action. That's right. Wish you'd help me set a trap, if you will. A trap? Hmm. The Desert Mining Company turned over a lot of gold to you for shipment. Why, how do you know this? <laughs> well, when you're in the law business, you get around a great deal and you hear a lot. I see. Now, this is what I want you to do, if you will. And when it's noised around that you've sent the stuff out, my job will be easy. Are you sure it'll be safe? Oh, it'll be safe, all right. All right, I'll do it. I understand exactly what to do, and I'm trusting you to protect me against the law. You seem to be spending a lot of time around this ranch instead of on your job. Bill, please. I'm sorry, he doesn't understand. Oh, that's all right. It's not all right. Instead of trying to run down the gang that's ruining Rawhide, you're wasting your time around here. I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. Goodbye, Miss Ryan. Goodbye, Marshal. What's the matter with you now? I ran into one of Bates' bartenders. He left in a hurry when he saw me. What's that got to do with the Marshal? Maybe we better find out. I saw you leave town, so I drifted out after you. I know. I was followed. Who was it? Snipe. Oh. We've got them worried. Have you got everything set? Just like you said. Well, you be where I told you, but don't make a move until I signal. I want to be sure we get the right man.
Well, everything's all set. Bob's to drive and I ride along as guard. I'll look for you fellows about the big rock. Will the boss be there? You be there for the split, don't worry. <laughs> I might have known. Out there with his hand out like all the rest of them, eh? Be a cinch for him to hightail it with all that dough. There you go again. Go get the rest of the boys. Well, everything ready to roll? Yes, and I hope you know what you're doing. Just leave it to me. Sending something out? Mr. Bates. Do you feel sure this new marshal can be trusted? I don't understand. I do. Your gold will be well taken care of. We're ready. He'll be here any minute. Where's the big boy? He won't be here. Higgins won't like that. Neither do I. Aren't we one man short? He didn't come out. But never mind about him. We might as well get this straight. You're dealing with me. Oh, I see. Well, I'm not used to doing business with people that don't keep a bargain. This might be the last time. Well, I get back, man. Start talking, Higgins. What's the answer? That's what I'm asking. It looks as though somebody tried to put something over on us. I'm claiming that someone is you. Great. Well, anybody else got any of the same idea? Willis must have pulled it. Then you know what to do. Now, just a minute. This isn't going to do any good to put Willis out of the way. If he's the man that double-crossed us, he knows where the gold is. Leave it to me. I'll get the truth out of him. You'll get the truth out of him. I'm the marshal. I can do it legally. That's right, you can. Well, I'll see Willis and we'll meet at your place.
Higgins ain't fooling me. I'll outsmart him this time. Get your horses. What went wrong? Two things. They didn't ship the gold and the head man didn't show up. Could Bates have double-crossed us? Well, either Bates or Willis did. That's what I aim to find out. Something go wrong, Marshal? You ought to know. What are you driving at? Suppose we lay the cards on the table face up. What do you know about that gold was supposed to be on the buckboard? Supposed to be? It was. No, it wasn't. Why, oh, you're crazy. For that gold. You can't put anything like that over on me. Now, you better come clean. I tell you, I don't know anything about it. Maybe a couple of days in the calaboose will refresh your memory. I see. With me out of the way, you figure you'll have clear sailing with Ruth. Well, you're not going to get away with it. Sorry to have to do this, Willis. Get anything out of Willis yesterday? No, I didn't, but I'm holding him in jail. I think I'll ride out and see what I can learn from the girl. Better take Snipe with you. You might need him. It's all right with me. Well, then, come along, Snipe. Jeff, just in case Snipe needs help, follow him. I had to see you quickly to let you know that I... I know enough. I've suspected you ever since you arrived and failed to report to me, as Chief Crane told the real Tim Smith to do. After what's happened, I'm convinced you're an imposter. Your lies haven't fooled me for a minute. Oh, then it was you who switched that shipment. Certainly, and it's a good thing I did. Where'd you put it? You'll never know. The only man here I can trust, you've thrown in jail. I threw Willis in jail to protect him, but I've got to know where that gold is. Get off this place before I call the vigilantes. What did you find out? Nothing. That shipment's in town somewhere, but we'll get it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't get it. Don't give me that. You know, that would be a swell split for just you and me. No. Well, I don't play that way. They do it to us. You can gun whip any of them. I'd be a little worried about that boss of Bates. He must be pretty smooth. Don't worry about him. Is it a deal? Snipe, you're barking up the wrong tree. You're a better man than I thought you were, Higgins. Well, just forget it. Let's be right.
Snipe put the proposition up to Higgins, there was nothing doing. Uh, we'll take care of Snipe. All Higgins wanted to know was about the boss. Why all the silence? Anything wrong? Nothing I can't fix. So you want to leave this set up, eh, Snipe? Me? No, no, not me. Yes, you do. As long as you want it that way, I'll pay you all. Tell him, Higgins. Tell him he's wrong. Listen, Bates, let me explain. I didn't do nothing unless I didn't. Give me a chance. You tried to get Higgins to double-cross the boys. You're making a mistake, Bates. I'll run this. Pay him off, Jeff. Hold it. Don't you see what Snipe was trying to do? Sure. He was trying to double-cross the whole outfit. He was the only one with brains enough to try to find out if I was on the level. That's right. Higgins is telling the truth. No one ever trusted him. How do you know I'm not the real Smith? You never tried to find out? He did. All this bickering among ourselves isn't getting us anywhere. I came up to this country to make some real money. I've got a hunch I know where that gold shipment is cash and we can lift it tonight. You can? Well, while we're at it, we might as well make a clean sweep. You remember those cattle I showed you? We'll grab that bunch at the same time and clear out of here. This town is washed up. Well, that's okay with me, but there's just one thing. If that big boss of yours wants his cut out of this deal, he better be on hand to earn it. You round up some men to guard that pass? What for? Bates is going to run off the Rand cattle. And I'm just about ready to close in on his outfit. Looks like we're going to have some action. You're right. Cigarette? Yeah. I'm looking for Bates. Is he around? Sure. My name's Higgins. Just tell them I'm here. Did you say Higgins? That's right. Left you, Higgins. Wait here. There's a bird outside to see you. Says he's Higgins. Bring him in. Cover him, boy. All right, you. Come on in. You're Bates? How do you figure I am? Murph told me what you look like. What's the racket? You're not Higgins. Well, if I ain't, who am I? Well, if you are, I'm Napoleon. Didn't you get a letter from Murph about me? A letter? Yeah. You must have. I was with him when he wrote it. No dice, brother. Where'd you get that ring? Murph gave it to me in case I needed eating money. Well, if you're Higgins, who's this bird we got acting as marshal? Acting as marshal? If you mean that tough piece of luck I just saw riding out of town wearing his badge, he is Marshal. He's Silent Tim Smith. The real Marshal? Which way was he heading? South. South, huh? Most likely going to get Ruth Rand to call out the vigilantes to help him round us up. Then we ain't got a chance. I'm getting out of here. Wait. The good law-abiding citizens of this town are going to help me finish what I started. Yeah? How? Jeff, take your men and get that Rand herd moving. Why not clear for us in the pad? Do not go near the pass. You're driving that herd right through this town. You're plumb loco. Why, the townsmen will pick us off like flies riding herd through here in broad daylight. The townsmen won't be here. I'm still ahead of the vigilantes. In 15 minutes, 
Every last man in this town will be out hanging a desperado named Higgins, who's posing as Marshal Tim Smith. Now, we're running a herd through here. Why that? Not only that. After those cattle get through these flimsy buildings, we won't need a key to loot their cash drawers before they get back. But we've got to act before that marshal gets to the girl. I'm depending on you to identify. Don't worry. All right, come on now. Let's get busy. You mean this fake marshal's been working with the gang all along? I'm afraid that's it. Johnson here knew both Higgins and the real Marshal Smith in Texas. He knows what he's talking about. I thought that coyote was acting kind of funny ever since he's been here. Where is he now? Heading for Ruth Rands. I've got a notion that he's going to run her herd through the pass and across the border tonight. Oh, he is, is he? Well, we'll stretch his neck from here to Mexico. Yeah. All right, boys, get mounted. And you fellas, get your horses, too. What a vigilante he makes. <laughs> vigilantes! Vigilantes! Get your horses and your guns! Pronto! So, Leif, you get the rest of the men. Head for Eagle Pass to keep that herd from going. We're riding a fake marshal. Good thing the real Higgins showed up. Bates is plenty smart getting them vigilantes out of town after Smith so we can drive the herd through Rawhide. He got away. Is that Bates chasing me? No, it's the vigilantes. Bates convinced them that you're the real Higgins and they're out to get you. Where's Bates? He's in town waiting for his men. They're going to drive the Rand herd through Rawhide instead of through the pass. There'll be nobody there to stop and they'll get away. Here, take my hat. Get on my horse and lead that gang back toward town. Take this, too. That'll help. I'm going to get paid. Well, looks like we lost him. There 
he goes! Pretty close by now. What about Big Boss? Is he going to show? You're talking to him. You mean you're That's the... That's right. Now that we're cleaning up and moving out, I don't mind letting you know. Why, you dirty chipper. Go for your gun if you don't like it. Get out of here right Marshal. Oh, it's you, is it? Yeah, who'd you think it was? Where's that fake Marshal? I don't know, but look. Land her. That's Fate's outfit driving it. Sure, why do you think he tricked you out of town? Why, the thieving double-crosser. I'll tear him limb from limb. What are we standing here for? Come on, vigilantes! Sorry, I had to rough you up that way, Bill. I had it coming to me for being so dumb. Tim, will you ever forgive me for the way I acted? Mm, well, I might, under one condition. And that? Would you let me be the best man when you and Bill decide to get hitched? <laughs> hey, what is this? Get me out of it. <laughs> 